are you all today? I hope you're all okay. I'm going to be changing little Mary Ann today and I thought we could play a game of Never Have I Ever because I haven't done that. What are you looking at, babies? I don't know what my babies are... Oh, I see. I wondered what my babies were looking at. But look, Blossom is trying to climb out of the carry cot. The Moses basket. Honestly, he wants to be with Ginny, obviously. So I have to get him down, won't I? I'll do that in a minute. But um, yeah, I'm going to change Mary Ann. So I'll get her. Come on, little sweetheart. Of course, she's snuggled up. Oh, oh, darling. She's all warm and comfortable, aren't you? Yeah. She's all warm and comfortable with her brother in the pram. <laughs> there she is. She's still in this lovely knitted outfit. Uh, this lovely outfit with all her lovely knitted presents from her Auntie Jane. Let, just let me see that you can see her okay. There she is. And we're going to change her today and play a game of Never Have I Ever because we haven't done that for a long time, have we? And with Christmas coming up, I think it's good fun to play some games. I'm going to change her into this lovely sleeper it is onesie wednesday and this is all in one so it's more of an outfit than a sleeper i think it's very pretty and it's from the guess how much i love you range from sainsbury's and it's got the nut brown hair at the bottom picking up his baby and there's all dark pink like a dusky pink and navy blue flowers on it and there's a lovely dusky pink piece of lace across the top of the bodice and then the top and the long sleeves have all got the same material with the dusky pink flowers white flowers and navy blue and it's got a peter pan collar which is also the flowered material with dusky pink edging to it it's really nice so I'm going to just unpop that for her. And when I was watching my friend Suzanne from Baby Bunting Nursery the other day, she had some hats on her babies, which were lovely, a, a different shape. And I thought, I wonder if I could knit that, because that looks like the top that you do for a hood, for a jacket. So I had a go at it. And here it is. And I've done it in dusky pink, so it matches the pink on her outfit. A dusky pink bonnet with the flat top. There you go, Suzanne. I managed to knit it. And it's pulled in at the bottom by the ties. So we'll see what that looks like on her in a minute. So come on, darling, we've got to take off all these lovely knitted things from Auntie Jane. I absolutely love them. And I was saying to her, I love these little pom-poms. They're so tiny. They really are. I wish I could have some of those, Jane, because um, they'd be lovely on my knitting. I'll have to have a talk to you about that and see if you'll do some for me. Up you come, darling. Take your little hat off. And I'm going to take off her little outfit that I bought her. It's a two-piece pale pink outfit and this is a, I think this is Babadoo, I'll check. So how have you all been? Have you been all right? I hope you have. There you go, sweet baby girl. I find things a bit distracting as you know when I'm dressing Marianne. Let's have a little look. Is this? Yes, it's Babadoo. And I got this off Amazon, and this is zero months. So, um, Lulu, this is a small baby thing, and I got this off Amazon, and it's zero months Babadoo, and that fits the twin A perfect, and the twin B, and it would also fit Will if it's him 
that you're worried about getting things for. There you go, little darling. Just put your arms up, darling. I mean, the, the bottoms of them are a bit long, but we don't mind that, do we, Mary Ann? No, we don't. This is an outfit, as I say, from Sainsbury's. And this is newborn up to seven pounds, and this fits her okay as well. Thank you for all your lovely comments on my last video. You know how much I appreciate them. There we go, Marianne. Let's get your little tootsies in. It's really cold here today. It's one of those damp, rainy days. I think we could have done with a different coloured um, blanket on here. Let me just get a different coloured blanket so you can see her outfit a bit better. Let's get a white one. There we go. Sorry, darling. I don't want to disturb you, my baby. Oh, she's so willful. Let's just put your mummy's shoulder. There we go. And we put a white one down so people can see you a little bit better. It's a lovely blanket that I got from her mummy Suzanne in Australia. There we go. We can see her better now, can't we? Yes, we can, young Mary Ann. Let's just pull your little top up. There we go. There she is. She's always fast asleep. She's such a good girl, this little girl. Aren't you? Yeah, very damp and rainy today here. There you go, sweet girl. Just move over, darling. There you go. So, not so good. It's a bit warmer than yesterday because it was only four degrees yesterday and it's about six today. But it's still not nice. I don't like it at all. But then we got to have the seasons, haven't we, Mary Ann? There we go, darling. And let's just turn you over. There we go. That's it. Put your head to one side, baby. Yeah, there she is. I just love this little girl so much. And everybody that's got a twin A and twin B out there know exactly what I'm talking about. They are just the most mwah, adorable babies. So there you go. That's a newborn size and that fits her really nice. I mean, it's a bit long in the sleeves, but we don't mind that so much. Do we, darling? No. Let me see if you're still seeing her okay. Yeah, you are, aren't you? Is it too light in here? I got it facing the other way today. Right, let's try this bonnet on her, Suzanne, and see if it fits. There we go, darling. There she is. Oh, perfect. Look at that. There we go, baby girl. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? And it's a lovely shape on her, too. Pull the bottom in a little bit more on this side. There we go. There we go. And that is actually, as I said, it's the, a hood pattern from a jacket. Oh, that frames her face. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> She's mummy's cutest baby. She is so cute. So what do you think of that on her? Let me get you a bit closer to her. <laughs> that looks adorable on her, doesn't it? It is lovely. I like that on her. She's such a cute baby. She really is. The light's playing a bit of a trick on me today, I think. There we go. I really must try and get a new... A new tripod because this re this really is not very stable at all on this bed. No matter what I do with it, it just seems to fall over. And I suppose it's it's kind of the springs on the bed. But there she is. She looks so beautiful in that, doesn't she? My sweet baby girl. And I'll hold on to the um tripod I think because I think it's going to go over aren't you yes you are perhaps not I don't know 
there we go I'll leave you like that and hopefully you'll be able to see her so let's play never have I ever and you have to guess which one of these statements is a lie so never have I ever worn a fancy hat now I'm not talking about pull on hats that we all wear in the winter I'm talking about a fancy hat never have I ever worn jeans and never have I ever been a bridesmaid so which one of those do you think is a lie wearing a fancy hat wearing jeans or being a bridesmaid be very interesting to see what they think won't it Marianne yes it will my baby girl it will be very interesting to see what they think <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed my little video today and seeing my perfect little Marianne absolutely perfect baby girl and I hope you like the little bonnet that I've knitted I think it looks adorable. It fits her beautifully. Might have to knit some more of those, mightn't I, Marianne? Mummy might have to knit some more of those, sweet baby girl. Yes, she does. Big kisses, Mummy Suzanne in Australia. Big kisses, everybody else. Love you, ladies and gentlemen.